biochemical engineering downstream processing separation of bioproducts by Dr. Sayani Kamaruddin. Learning outcome. Content overview. Downstream processing. The challenge. Separation of bioproducts. Filtration and conclusion. Downstream processing follows four sequence steps as below. Product separation, primary isolation, purification, and final isolation. The challenge, first, low product concentration. Second, large number of impurities and third, thermal labile bioproducts. Separation of bioproducts also known as removal of insolubles and other solids, or, cell removal. The first step is removal of cells from fermentation broth. This is necessary if the biomass itself is the desired product, or, the products is located at intracellular. Removal of cell can also assist recovery of product from the liquid phase. The typical unit operation of cell removal is filtration. Raw materials of bioseparation mostly from upstream process are known as fermentation. The ideal bioproduct separation should combine high throughput and high selectivity and should ensure the stability of product. Filtration mechanism separates solid liquid suspension into a concentrated and a diluted part, feed, retentate, and permeate. Rate of filtration is usually measured as the rate at which liquid filtrate is collected. The filtration rate is depends on area, viscosity, pressure difference, and resistance. The equation of filtration rate is as below. Please emphasized on important parameters in this equation. Fermentation broths can be difficult to filter because, small size of the cells, gelatinous nature of the cells, and, viscous non-Newtonian behavior of the fermentation broth. Rotary drum vacuum filter. Consists of a drum rotating in a tub of liquid to be filtered. When drum rotates, the filtrate is drawn and the cake is deposited on the drum surfaces. The advantages and disadvantages of RDVF. Advantages are continuous operation and possibility of cake drying. Disadvantages are low driving force and complicated in design. Thank you for watching this video. Special thanks to Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia, University of Putra Malaysia and Open Learning Course, MOOC, UPM.